Seated in his wheelchair, he was only 106 centimetres tall, found that most buildings were difficult to access because of vertiginous stairs. His sales comrades were seeing 40, 50 companies a day. He was only seeing five, if he was lucky. Yet, in a short space of time, he became the top salesperson in that company. Konnichiwa, and welcome to the Leadership Japan series. And I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Story, president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan. And much more importantly, you are a student of leadership. You are highly motivated to be the best in your business field. Today's show is brought to you by our public and in-house seminar series. We run two public seminars each month half days, full days, on popular topics like negotiations, public speaking, time management, etc. If you are seeking these types of skill solutions, you can host them in-house or just send people along to our public events. If you have a performance or people challenge in Japan, then maybe we can help you. You can contact me at greg.story, that's G-R-E-G dot story, S-T-O-R-Y, at Carnegie. Com. Access our free white papers, guidebooks, reports, training videos, blogs, newsletters, course information, plus so much more over at japan.dalecarnegie.com. So, before we get going, today's handy phrase is Osaki ni dozo. Osaki ni dozo. We're going to be walking together somewhere and they're going to get in the elevator first or get on the escalator first. We might say, Osaki ni dozo. Please, you go ahead. Osaki ni dozo. Osaki ni, go ahead. Dozo, please. Osaki ni dozo. Please go ahead. Today is episode number 167. And we are talking about the 106 centimetre cold caller. Salespeople are world class whiners. They are the most creative group amongst all professions for coming up with excuses about why they can't meet their targets. The sales life requires a constant stream of new buyers. Marketing is permanently inhabited by 'er ne'er-do-wells who are sabotaging the sales department's efforts with underdone campaigns and inept promotions. When the leads are few and far between, desperate measures are called for and the chief villain of the piece is cold calling. Everyone will assure you that you can't cold call in Japan. Salespeople everywhere are delicate blossoms. They get a rocket from their boss about their poor results and try to cold call potential clients over the phone. They get total irreversible rejection and quit phoning after the third call. There is a variety of cold calling which is even more debilitating and that is tobikomi eigyo. You've probably seen some seriously stressed out younger person in your reception hall of your office, hanging around, looking totally out of depth and out of place, getting the bums rush from the most lowly person on your company's totem pole. That was a Toby Komi Egyo salesperson, someone who just drops by unannounced and devoid of an appointment always unceremoniously shown the door. Imagine if you are so short that the receptionist can't even see you unless she stands up and peers well over the counter, or that the typical unmanned reception phone and organizational chart are at such a height and depth that you can't even use them. This presumes you even get into the building in the first place. Toshia Kakiuchi, was born with a brittle bone crippling disease that confined him to a wheelchair. 
He applied for jobs, found the going tough. Then one day, a firm which built websites accepted him as an employee. He expected to be seated at a desk, building websites in the safe bosom of the office. His boss told him, you head off to the sales department. You have to get out there and cold call offices door to door, Toby Comey egg your style, looking for companies who need a website. Seated in his wheelchair, he was only 106 centimetres tall, found that most buildings were difficult to access because of vertiginous stairs. His sales comrades were saying 40, 50, 60, 70 companies a day, and he was only seeing five, if he was lucky. Yet, in a short space of time, he became the top salesperson in that company. After his talk to the Economist Conference Network event, I asked him about how he managed it. With only a limited number of calls he could make in a day, he had to really make every post a winner. He found a way to turn his disadvantage into an advantage. We have Toby Comey egg your people coming to our office every month trying to sell us one thing or another. Like everyone else, we send forth the lowest ranked person in the chain of command to shoo them away. Nicely, of course, because we're Dale Carnegie. Do you remember any of them 30 seconds after they have moved on to the next company's reception area? No. Kakuchi-san, though, is definitely memorable, distinct, differentiated. You are not going to forget him turning up to your office. He told me that he had to just keep going back again and again. Eventually, he would get to talk to a decision maker who could buy, and they did buy. For those able-bodied salespeople out there whining in their suds about how tough sales is, stop it right now. You and I have nothing to complain about. Takuchi-san found a way through by differentiating himself by having grit and stickability to keep going despite being constantly rejected. He was physically weak but mentally tough. Today... He runs his own company, Mirairo, that researches, designs, and consults on the needs of the disabled. He has produced an app called BMAPS that tells the disabled where there are stairs, elevators, physical barriers on their route to their destination. His book, Barrier Value, tells his story of how he overcame his challenges. With our aging population demographics, we will all be needing his company's services in the future as our hips and knees weaken and those stairs are looking like Everest. So, salespeople, don't complain about cold calling. Read Touch Sun's book and reflect on how lucky you are with so much sales opportunity right in front of you. Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan series, and we hope you enjoyed today's show brought to you by the seminar series. As mentioned, if you have a performance for people challenge in Japan, maybe we can help you. Contact me at greg.story, that's G R E G dot story, S T O R Y at dalecarnegie.com. Also, remember. To access your Dale Carnegie training, free reports, white papers, guidebooks, training videos, blogs, newsletters, course information, plus so much, much more, then go over across to japan.dalecarnegie.com.